Hello everyone, welcome to Studios, and today we're having a look at an HP Pavilion 15 laptop which has a Ryzen 5 3500U, 8GB of RAM and Vega 8 onboard graphics which I'm very interested to see how it performs in 2019. It also has a 15 inch display at 1080p, so pretty good specs overall, the build quality is really nice and overall the laptop feels pretty great. But before we start with gaming benchmarks we have uh, I.O. We have a power in LAN, HDMI, two USB 3.0s, as well as an AUX port. On the right hand side we also have another USB 3 and an SD card slot. But talking about specs, remember that the uh, Vega 8 GPU is an onboard graphics card which means it uses two out of the eight gigabytes of RAM on this machine, so if you are buying this for productivity I highly recommend going for the 16 gigabyte model. The first benchmark I ran was Cinebench R15, and we managed to get a surprisingly good score of 581 points, which isn't too far behind the, the 6700HQ i7 in my laptop, a slightly older but still very capable Intel CPU. The Vega 8 graphics card managed to get a score almost exactly in between a slightly older Intel HD graphics and a GTX 950M, although a lower end but still much more expensive Nvidia graphics card. Some other benchmarks included uh, some of the newer 3D Mark benchmarks, and it managed to score pretty good overall, and I'm pretty impressed with the performance. The scores for both of the tests I ran are on the screen right now in the form of screenshots. CSGO at the high settings managed to get an average of 34 FPS with a minimum of 20, and it wasn't very great, but it was still playable. Lowering those settings to medium, we managed to get an average of 46 FPS and a minimum of 28, which was much better and was definitely playable. Overall, I'm very happy with this laptop's performance, and I'm surprised at the Vega 8 GPU because it is essentially the advantage we need over Intel HD graphics, but without the price increase of a dedicated graphics card from NVIDIA. Overall, I'm very impressed with the laptop, and I'm interested to see how many more of these graphics cards we get in laptops like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and join the Discord server below if you'd like to. Thank you everyone for watching, and goodbye.